Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the joystick on a Steam Deck. So this is Valve's new portable gaming handheld. I'm going to be basing this information on Valve's teardown video. So the first thing that we need to do is to flip over the Steam Deck and then we're going to access these four screws. So these are standard Phillips head screws. There is one in each corner, top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So just go ahead and use a standard Phillips head screwdriver and then remove all four of those screws. So these screws are going to be different lengths from the next set of screws, so put them in a separate pile. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the four center screws in the middle of the scheme deck. So these are shorter screws, so put them in a separate pile. So two of them are in the middle of the chassis and two of them are at the very bottom edge of the chassis. So once you've gone ahead and removed all eight screws from the back cover of the Steam Deck, then it's time to remove the back cover. So this can be done with your fingernails or using a plastic pry tool. Please be careful to keep it intact in a one piece and not to damage your Steam Deck. So once the back cover is removed, the very first thing that we should do is to disconnect the battery. This is because the battery can still deliver charge and it can damage components if you're handling them while it's still being powered. So all you need to do is to use your fingernail or you can use a plastic spudger to pull the battery cable out. So the first thing that we need to do is to pull up the grey tab of the cable connector on the joystick module. Once that tab is up, then we are free to pull the blue tab of the actual ribbon cable itself. So all we need to do now is to remove the three screws from the joystick module. These are three standard Phillips head screws, so just use a normal Phillips head screwdriver. And now that's freed up, we're able to remove the entire joystick module. So Valve has stated that these joystick components are fully custom made. So it remains to be seen whether we're able to actually replace them with third party parts or whether spare parts will come from Valve themselves. Watch this space, we'll see how this turns out in the future. So in order to replace this module, all we need to do is to take that module and put it back in, and then we reconnect the screws in, and then we put the ribbon cable back in, in fully reverse order. So last thing to do is to reconstruct the Steam Deck. So just follow the steps in reverse, then you'll be able to put your Steam Deck back together. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.